now we're going to go through lesson 25 using variables with the artist okay so the first we have a prediction so let's so you have we have set the variable length to 50 what will happen when you click run okay so let's predict so you say when run set length to 50 so length will be 50 so that's a variable repeat three times so the following code is going to be repeated three times you said move forward by length so it's going to go move forward by length and then turn left to 120 degrees so if you go this way it's 90 so 120 is more so like this and then doing the same so i think it's going to make some kind of triangle okay so let's see what are the options the artist will draw a triangle with 50 pixel sides so 50 pixels okay that makes sense the artist will draw a 50 sided polygon okay not 50 because we are only repeating three times cool so not this the artist will draw three open sides with 50 degrees turn it's not right as well because you're using 120 degree the computer will prompt the user for a number that's also not right because there is no prompt code okay so i think that's the first one so run oh we are right awesome good job next one i think there's a variable it's gonna say what variable is please watch this video but in general uh, variable is like how you store the information in your computer so if user give you something you can store that data and then use it later on cool all right so let's start with the section by drawing a triangle with 150 pixel sides be sure to use the length variable and a repeat loop so uh, they just did it in this one so i'm just going to follow the same but the uh, length will change right so we create a length variable set length to 150 no one 150 okay 150 and then we do a loop since we need to create a triangle three times and need to move forward by length and then need to turn left to create so you need to go this way and then turn left whole 120 degree cool so let's run awesome cool next good all right so the next challenge rebuild the triangle code from the last puzzle but this time also add a new block to add 10 to length each time the loop finishes okay so now the sides are not going to be the same they are going to change each time the loop finish okay so for each loop it's going to change all right so let's set length first so it was 150 all right and then we do a loop three times same thing as previous one you move forward we do turn left 120 degree but now we need to change that length by 10. okay so go variable change length by 10. okay all right so let's run cool all right next one whoa that looks crazy okay so time to make some art see what happened when you repeat the code from the last puzzle 30 times instead of three okay so we'll change this three to 30 and feel free to make any lines any color okay all right so let's change it to 30 first and then let's change the color before we draw so we do brush okay set let's set a random color okay so every for every line we set a random color okay so there's a lot of things i'm just gonna do a bit faster all right whoa it looks pretty good awesome cool so i think we did it cool it looks pretty nice all right 
next one so here's your code from the last puzzle all right so they didn't remove the code it's good try to edit the variable in other ways so they're asking us to like make some changes and see what happened okay so let's uh, take the suggestions so what happened length less than 150 so let's try with 100 and then see what happened okay so we got a smaller one i think okay all good so let's revert back it to 150 and then what happened if you change length by a number greater or less than 10 okay so let's do it with five and then we can also all right so this is mm, let's do it 15 so it's more lines are size are more closer when you reduce it and when you increase it it's more wider okay cool so take back to 10 and then let's play around with the degree so let's do 119 okay let's see what happened oh i like this shape that looks good and so it's doing okay with sideways and if we do 121 i think we'll go sideways as well all right so it looks pretty cool awesome can we do this again so yeah i'll play around with it that looks fun all right so finish okay continue it's the last one so take what you have learned make so far what you like to variable square okay so that's a free play it's nothing so let's try to make kind of like square so for square this is going to be 90 degrees right and then see how it looks cool awesome so that was pretty uh it's not that much challenging but yeah play around with it you gotta draw cool stuff with this new variable stuff uh, practice and we'll help you on the next lesson um see you around uh, thanks for watching and yeah subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on the next one bye